Kevin. Uh, we don't know about the MRI tomorrow morning. Did you get a chance to talk to him at all before he left? Uh, I did not. No. Obviously, things would change, but how, how much of a emotional blow would it be if he has to miss any stretch of time? Yeah, of course, it would be tough to lose him. Um, no one wants to see that, and uh, we'll obviously hope for the best outcome. But regardless of, of the outcome, we have to continue to work, build, and grow, and uh, get better and compete. Steve, going back to even early when you lost some guys due to COVID, uh, and you really had to turn to the rookies at that point, what have you thought about the way they've delivered in some situations where you really needed them to? Yeah, they've been great. I mean, that's why they've got an opportunity. You know, we liked them in the preseason, um, but we felt like there was a process to them getting, you know, to earning and to to developing into an opportunity. And, and it came, you know, it came during COVID. Uh, they kind of proved to us what we thought, that they, they could handle it. Um, and then every time they've got an opportunity, they've, they've handled it. And, uh, and some performances have been outstanding along the way. So um, really proud of those guys and the energy and, and the um, attentiveness they're, they're applying to their development, their growth and to our game plans. Steve, a couple 20 point games from Patty in a row now after that rough stretch for him. Just is there anything different you've seen with him the past few games? Or I remember you talking a couple of times, just make or miss as soon as the ball going in. Yeah, um, you know, he missed a game, which was good. Um, I think that that is really important. Uh, trying to give him a little bit of relief. He's played so hard and he's been playing a lot of minutes this year. So I think that helps. But, um, you know, sometimes you have stretches where you shoot better than others, and that's just the nature of the game. Christian Winfield. Hey, Coach. Um, James hit the ground in the in that third quarter. Is, is he okay from that play? And then just, I mean, 40 minutes for him. Is, it, is this just going to be another one of those instances where it, you guys are kind of just dealt the kind of the cards that you get and you got to play through them? Yeah. Um, you know, he, he. I think he's fine. Uh, probably have a, you know, a little bruise or something, but I don't think there's anything to do with the elbow. But, um, I mean, it's tough. You know, no Kyrie, no, no Kevin, uh, no... Joe, um, you know, it's, he's, he's going to have to play a lot. So uh, we, we obviously will have to be careful as to how many games he plays at, at what number of minutes. But, uh, you know, we, we, we definitely going to need him out there. If I can follow up really quickly, I mean, you just it, it looks like all the rookies just continue to step up when they're when their numbers are called. How do you kind of evaluate them versus kind of the experience that your veterans give you at the same positions? Hmm. Yeah, I think. Um, you know there there is a balance to be struck there. These guys deserve an opportunity. They've they've played well, um, been very solid. Uh, the vets are we know what they give us, um, and you know like I keep saying, we got a lot of guys on our team that are about the same level. So it's really hard to you know be be super consistent with it. And um, you know I think the rookies have earned an opportunity, and I thought they played very well tonight. Thank you. All right, thanks guys.